number third workout number four we're going to go with your martial arts in this one you need your bands okay so we're going to place it behind the back now on the last one we did work on the chest and we're going to work on the chest a little bit more but actually the emphasis is more using the band to use your core so don't worry about trying to really tire your chest the band actually helps you with your core connection and that's one of the reasons why we're why we're using it so this is more of a general feel and it's going to be a little bit more cardio than some of our others you know i think they were cardio as well but this is more continuous movement so i just want you to start by marching out on your feet now Having done martial arts quite a lot in previous lives, um, I'm very used to working out uh, with bare feet, and it's very, feels very natural to me. Uh, if it's not to you, then you put your shoes on absolutely fine. Uh, just to point out, um, when you're kicking, you want to be really careful as you kick, and you don't have to kick, yeah? So if it doesn't feel right to you, just do a knee lift, that's all you have to do. So what we're going to do is a march and a knee lift. So it's three, two, one, knee. Okay, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything more than that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to point my toe down and do a kick with a front kick with a pointed toe. And the kick is a flick. So you kick out, yeah? You flick it. Now my arms are guarding your body. Yeah, and I want you to do the same. So you've got this low, slow push out, the same side hand on the leg that's kicking. Now as you're pushing that hand out, that hand is creating distance between you and your opponent. Yeah, that's why you're putting that protective hand out. And then the other hand is crossing over your body to protect your body, yeah? So it's basically causing, uh, creating a shield for your head and for your chest and your stomach. So that's why you're using these arms, yeah? Now when you're kicking, I want you to flick and pull your leg back in. Flick and pull it back in. We'll need a side shot on that so you can see that flick on the leg. Remember, if you don't want to use that, just lift your knee up. Absolutely fine. How you doing, yeah? Okay, so we're going to take out the march now and just kick. After four more of these, three more, two more. Are you ready? Okay, so let's just kick. Go left, right, kick. Left, right, left, right, left. Or just lift the knee. Fine, go. Seven of these, six. Now I'm going to step back to my left side. Are you ready? Join me when you can. And you're going to step forward on the right and back yeah, on the left. Step forward on the right. Now as you're doing this, you want to turn your left hip in. Left hip comes in. And as you turn that left hip in, you're bringing that left back punch through. Yep, yeah, left hip, left arm. Good. Now we're going to add in a front punch. Yep, yeah, front punch. So the right arm goes in as well. Good. Perfect. Now we're going to add in a bit more intensity by lifting the right knee up. Then you get this wind up in your waist. And I want you to go for it. And I'm going to add a little optional hop on it as well. It's good. Keep it going. Now I want you to really go for it. Are you ready? Go, 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 go. Come on. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. And you're there. Now I want you to step the and cross step back. Now this step is actually a Charleston. So if you like watching Strictly, yeah, it's a Charleston step. Step knee, step back. Step knee, step back. But we're going to make it more athletic. Up and down. Up and down. And you don't have to go all the way down. You can just go halfway and you don't have to hop either. So you can do it at different paces, yeah? Your choice. Here we go. Good. Keep it going. Go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Okay, grab your band again. We're going to do that whole thing on the other side. So what I want you to do now is march out. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. How are you doing? Are you okay? Good, good. So remember I said this was more cardio, this one. Less strength. But I still want you to think about that core as you're doing this, yeah? So here we go. Three, two, one. Kick. So lift through your center. Use your arms to guard. Pushing forwards, good. Think about that upper body strength. Think about your posture as you're doing this. 
Give me six more. Keep it going. Two more. And then we're going to kick all the way right, left. You ready? Here we go. Kick, 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 kick. Keep it going. Seven, six, five, four, or just knee. Three, two. Now pull back to your right this time. Stepping in. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Okay, now remember, you've got that optional knee and you've got that optional hop. So if you want to go for it, you can. Up, knee, and punch, punch. Now remember that right hip has to come through. So use the hip. Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three more, two more, one more. Now we're going to do that Charleston step, yeah? Up knee and back and back. Up knee and back and back. Perfect. Keep it going. Up knee and down. And down. Now I want to see you really go for it. Athletic. Let's go. Let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Two. You're nearly there, but not quite. Grab your band for me, a little bit more work. So to even ourselves up, we've done a little bit of chest work. We're just going to finish off with a little bit of back work. Place one band underneath your left leg. Come down, shorten the band. Yep. And you're going to row into your back. Pull up through into your back muscles. Squeeze your tricep. Lift, breathe. That's good. Keep that apple under your chin. Now I'm looking up at you. I can see you through the lens, really. No, I'm looking up at you to talk to you, but I actually want you to have your head down to the floor. Yeah, so you're looking down at the floor, getting that length of the back of your neck, and you're squeezing your elbow close in towards your spine as you bring the arm back. Pull, pull. Give me four more, three more, squeeze into your back, two more, one more, and then change sides, other side. So this is just to bring you down from your cardio to give you a bit of balance to your training. Work it into the back. Pull. Pull. Now lift into your centre. Breathe. Now look at my angle. If you find this too difficult to hold this position, just drop your knee down to the floor. Absolutely fine. But what's important to work into the back muscles is that your chest is not quite horizontal, but near, near horizontal as you can get it. And that's important so that you work into the right muscles. What you don't want is this. I'm doing it wrong now, yeah? Because that's going to pull into the shoulders. We've already got enough shoulder work in these barefoot workouts. So this is all about the back. So draw your elbow right in close to your side. Squeeze into the middle of your back, yep? Yeah? Two more. One more. And you've done another barefoot workout. Well done. Fantastic stuff. Like it. Comment on it. And come back and do it again very soon. Well done.